Okay, so I'm doing another canning video, and this time I am canning mushrooms. And what I did was I picked up eight one-pound packages. And they were already sliced. So I've washed them once, and I'm going to wash them again. And then I'm going to put them in this pot with water and bring it up to a boil and then simmer it for five minutes. So when I started this pot, what I did was I put maybe about a third of water in here, but there is eight pounds of mushrooms in here, so they are not submerged. So what I'm going to do is just keep adding more water until the mushrooms can be pushed down and the water comes over top. So it's most likely sitting at about half of a stock pot of water. And you can see that if I'm pushing down on it, they do go under. I'm just going to add a little bit more and then we're going to put it on the stove and bring it to a boil. Okay, we've got the mushrooms on high and I'm going to add maybe about a teaspoon of salt. And as this starts to heat up, the mushrooms are going to reduce greatly. So you'll see that here in a little bit. You can just keep stirring every once in a while. So I just put the lid on and in a few minutes I'll come back and give it a good stir and see what's going on with whether the water is coming up to a boil or not. I'm, I'm guessing it'll take probably 15 minutes to come to a boil. I'm going to be processing these mushrooms in half pint jars. So these, I have 18 here. I'm not sure how many eight pounds of mushrooms is going to do, but we'll find out. <laughs> Anyways, these are all washed up and now I'm just going to let them soak in hot water, just hot tap water. So that it keeps the jars warm and then uh, later on when we process it with hot liquid it's not going to shock the jar. So I'm going to give these a little stir. They're probably not broken down enough yet. No, they're still quite full but we're going to try anyways to move them around a little. And when you're done cooking these for the five minutes after it boils then what you're going to do is you're going to strain these mushrooms out of this water. We're not going to use this water to process. What we're going to do, or what I'm doing today, is uh, I have a mixture of organic beef broth here. And that's what I'm going to use to can it. You can use beef broth, you can use onion soup mix, you can use even just plain water. Whatever you want, that's how you can do it. I just went in and stirred them for the second time, but because the pot is so full, I have a feeling it's going to take closer to a half hour for it to come up to a boil. But then once it does, I'll time it for five minutes and then we'll shut it off and take the mushrooms out. So when you start this process, Get your canner ready. I have three quarts of water in here and a good splash of vinegar. And then I just turn it on about three and a half or four and just let it warm up gently because we're going to be putting hot jars and hot liquid stuff into the canner. So you want your water in there to be warm as well so it doesn't break your jars. I went to Walmart yesterday and picked up a bunch of stuff and uh, this cactus here usually has the white and pink pale flowers on it and now it's got a bunch more buds. It was loaded. Now they're all drying up and there's new buds and this one here is a bright pink and it had the same. It was just loaded so now they're drying drying up and falling off but there is new buds on the go and this is a new one that I bought yesterday just beautiful 
They're only $4.97, I think, at Walmart. I thought they were Christmas cactus, but it's actually the Easter one, and you can tell by the way the leaves are shaped. Pretty interesting. Okay, my mushrooms are coming up to a boil. So I'm gonna stir them again. You can see how it's all foaming up here. And that's the water boiling in there and it's trying to get through, but I could hardly move this 15 minutes ago. So now you can see how much they've shrunk down. So I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. And then when that time is over, then we'll get the mushrooms out and start getting them into the jars. I heated up my beef broth and I got it sitting here ready to go. And the mushrooms are on the last minute. Every once in a while I'll just go in and stir them just so that the ones underneath come to the top and the top ones on the bottom and it gives them a chance to get blanched as well. And then once I get these mushrooms out, I'm going to use a slotted spoon and just put them in this big bowl. Once I get them out, I'll bring them to the table and then I will take out, I don't know how many jars, maybe six, eight jars at a time and bring them to the table so that they're nice and warm still when I uh, fill them up with the hot liquid. Okay, so we have a big bowl of steaming hot mushrooms. <laughs> so I am going to, I think I might need to move this closer. Yeah. I'm going to fill these half pint jars to just at that very first ring on the neck. Right there. Get that filled up and then I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now again you don't have to add salt but I like my mushrooms to be salty. So that's what I am going to do. And then I will add probably not quite a ladle full of broth. You bring it to that mark anyways, the one inch headspace, and, uh, and then you debubble, and that moves things around of course, so then you might need to adjust the amount of mushrooms you need in there, or the amount of liquid so that everything is covered and it's at that one inch headspace. So I think this one looks pretty good. I might add just a smidgen. No, actually I'm not. I'm not going to add any more liquid to this. So after that, then you just wipe your rim and you put the lid and the ring on and put it in the canner and I will get back to you when I have all of them in the canner. So I landed up doing these more like a half inch to almost a quarter inch headspace and I've got the second stack in here so I have 18 jars all together and this is all I have left out of eight pounds of mushrooms. So with that being said <laughs> That was a pretty good guess. All right, so now I am going to get the lid on and turn it up. Oh, it's already turned up. I'm going to get the lid on and we'll be back in a bit. So the canner has been on high for about 10 minutes or so. And uh, you're going to start seeing a nice steady stream of steam coming out of here. And once it does that, once it's a steady stream, then you can set your timer for 10 minutes so we can get it up to pressure before we put the jiggler weight on. And you can really hear the water rumbling in there and the jars are jigging a little bit inside. And this is starting to come up to a 
a steady stream of steam. Just wait for a few more seconds until it's nice and steady and then we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, we got her set for 10 minutes and then after that we'll come back and set the 15 pound weight on. Okay, 10 minutes is just about up here, down to the last 20 seconds. I'm going to shut that timer off. And look at that nice stream Ooh, all the way up there. We're going to put the weight on, and if you're not comfortable doing it with your bare hands, please put an oven mitt or something on. Um, I feel comfortable enough doing it, so I just do it. <laughs> Anyways, so when that thing comes up to a jiggling noise, like a spitting sound, that's where we're going to start the timer for 45 minutes for half pints or pints, either one, it's for 45 minutes. Okay, it's just starting to rock. Makes that kind of hissing, spitting sound. So, it just came to happen now, so I'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes. I'm doing half pints. If you're doing half pints or pints, you do it for 45 minutes. I don't think they recommend doing mushrooms in quart jars. I'm not sure why, but anyways. You know the drill. We're going to turn it down a little bit. Probably to about a seven and a half. And then in a few minutes, I'll come back and I'll turn it down to about a six. And if it's still rocking a little bit too hard, then I'll do it down to about a five and a half. And just let it go like that for the rest of the time. So I landed up doing my jars at about a half inch headspace. And I just watched a couple of videos and it says one inch from the top. So we'll see what happens with this canner load. If, uh, if it siphons out or what. I guess we'll find out when it's all done. Alright, it's rocking a little too hard for my liking. So I'm just going to turn it down from a seven and a half to about a six right now. And if it's still going a little too hard, I'll put it down to about a five and a half in a couple of minutes. Well, we're coming up to the last 30 seconds here of our 45 minutes. So the timer goes off. And I'm turning off the stove. So now we're just going to let this cool down on its own, always. Leave it to cool down on its own. It's uh, 8.51, so probably in about 45, 50 minutes. This little stack here is going to drop, and then we can take off our weight. And then I unlock the lid and let the steam come out, and I let the jar sit in there for at least another 10 minutes. Okay, the little stack has dropped, so I'm going to take off the jiggler weight. Then I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And I am going to unlock my lid and let it just the steam come out slowly, and then I'll take the jars out after 10 minutes. See, I just set the lid like this and let the steam come out and then after 10 minutes it's not such a shock to take them out into the temperature of the room. Okay, 10 minutes is up and I am going to start removing these from the canner and setting them over where I usually put them. just to cool off for the next 24 hours. There we go. Today was a full day of canning. I did 18 half pints of mushrooms, two quart jars of stewing meat, and seven quart jars of beef stew. 
So that is it. I hope you guys have a good night. I know I'm going to sleep really good tonight. Anyways, happy canning.